to show a quick video here how to check capacitor microfarads without using microfarads. We're going to be doing checking the reactants, which is basically the Ohm's law of the capacitor. The formula is simple. It's 2650, or to be accurate, 2652 times the amps divided by the volts you read on the capacitor. 2650 times the amps divided by volts equals UF. Let's read our amps first. We set the meter on amps. You read the amps going through the capacitor. 1.08. Write that down there. We're gonna read the volts next. Now it is 400 volts typically, so you want to read carefully and not blow yourself up. So 363 volts. So we get 363 volts. And then you just multiply all that out on a calculator. Twenty six fifty two, but fifty is fine. Times one point zero nine divided by three sixty three. So we get eight microfarads. And our capacitor is supposed to be fifteen. So we got ourselves a bad capacitor. Let's check it, just to verify. So now I'm gonna just check it reading microfarads. There you go, eight microfarads. So Mr. Capacitor is bad, change that out. So you can read these capacitors Either shut it down, pull the wire, use your meter, or use your reactance formula, which is basically Ohm's formula. This number just comes from the 60 hertz because it's a frequency. Capacitors are basically a resistor for a frequency and uh, where they actually reduce current flow. And uh, so we just got to memorize the 2650 times amps divided by volts. If you get it wrong, you'll be way off. There's really only one way to multiply that out. And uh, you can check without having to kill the power, which you definitely want to do safely and you need to be a professional. I hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.